All right, POE students. So in my absence today, I'm gonna go ahead and move you on to activity 231, which is called stress and strain calculations. By now you've looked through the PowerPoint, so the recording that I've created. And just to give you a little background on stress and uh, strain as it relates to material testing. So the stress and strain calculations are gonna give you a little bit of background. Some things on this activity, uh, you're going to be given one of three things. One will be this document. This document you'll need to open on your laptop. I would say that's the easiest. All you need is the information from it. So there are going to be some problems that are detailed. They're going to have some reference materials, but here are the calculations that start. So there are 10 problems in all, and we're going to we're going to see how far we can get with these 10 problems. So this one here, again, open on your laptop. The other documents, there's two more that will be given to you on paper. One will be the stress and strain calculations worksheets. So this is where you're gonna document all the calculations for this one. So here's number one. We're gonna be going through a five-step process. Documenting knowns, unknowns, what equation we need. First thing we'll start with is a drawing. So figuring out all the things we need to solve the problem substituting and solving, and then putting in our final answer in the corner box here. So along with this, you're going to end up having a material testing formula sheet. So this is a little bit different than the regular formula sheet. I've found that this helps out quite a bit because of getting you used to knowing, one, what are the variables? We use a lot of Greek letters in material testing. What are the units? And then what is the formula in this case? So this is a little different from your formula sheet. These formulas will do show up on the regular POE formula sheet, but this one will be utilized just to get you used to the material testing. So in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and get you started on number one. So number one is gonna have us looking at dealing with force, area, and stress.